A singer based right here in the Twin Ports recently won an international competition through an app called Uplive, right? Uplive Up or Live? Uplive? I don't even know. Um, which is a broadcasting streaming app. All right, Fox 21's Jane Kim has more on how this Philippines native is taking the music world by storm. It isn't only Etta James who sang At Last. After a long journey, Duluth resident Zandra Tan, who is also known by her stage name Zandy Storm, has finally, at last, won the first annual Singing for the World competition through the broadcasting streaming app Uplive. To the number one winner, uh, Zandy Storm, who I, I'm privileged to be speaking with you and, and letting you know how proud I am of you. Zandra started her singing journey when she was in the Philippines. She spent time singing and dancing, and Zandra ended up participating in competitions like Philippine Idol, Pinoy Pop Superstar, and Pinoy Idol. This time around, I'm gonna give myself a chance, and this is the chance, and this chance is actually so big that it's hard to explain, like, it's overwhelming, like, wow. Zandra decided to participate in the Uplift competition with the support of her family and friends. She sang every day for a month to get the attention of the competition judges. Users on Uplive give virtual gifts to singers, which can turn into money for the participants. The event itself brought over 4,000 other competitors who broadcasted their singing skills. Paula Abdul announced Zandra's win on the show, and Zandra says she's going to keep working hard to get to bigger and better places. This is my dream. That's what I told Paula. I said, this is my dream. No one can stop me from this. I will keep pushing it. I will get that. And it worked out for me, and this is my dream. Users from the Philippines and the United States were Zandra's main support. Zandra, along with other winner Lawrence Leeway, split the $10,000 cash prize, and Zandra will also get a national recording contract through iHeartMedia. In the studio, Jane Kim, Fox 21 Local News.